what's going on guys? My name is Alex Wittick and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be actually working on the purple Mark V Jetta TDI. I've got one cracked wheel, I've already gotten one repaired and I didn't know that the second wheel was cracked. So I went to the Flipsco meet and uh, it was the last, last event of the year at their shop and uh, on my way back I honestly hit a bridge probably doing about 75 and uh, the bridge is known to take out wheels and I drove all the way home, no issues, but the next day uh, I had that wheel um, pop off the bead the second I pulled out of my driveway. I made a whole video on it on like, TikTok and stuff like that so some of you might have seen it. But um, I got that wheel repaired, it's been holding fine, and then when I went to go do the uh, shortening the bag video not too long ago, the, uh, I would notice that the wheel was actually cracked. And I wouldn't have known though, because the wheel still sits at 65 PSI, so I run all my tires at 65 PSI, and that one's still sitting at 65 PSI. So I don't know how it didn't leak, but it's not leaking, so that's good. And uh, I'm gonna take the wheel off, and we're gonna run over to my buddy's shop, it's um, the wheel and rim group, and my buddy MK underscore Tommy is actually going to be repairing the wheel. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to get over there, get this wheel fixed, and then uh, pretty soon we're going to be getting those heim joints in so we can make our own uh, toe arms. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be able to drive this thing and finally have some fun. So I got my Harbor Freight Jack here. I jacked the car up an additional about six inches. I'll be able to pop that RS right back on, throw two of my wheel bolts in, Tighten them up and then drop the car. Head on over to the other side. We're going to take the other wheel off and I'll show you guys the crack. Alrighty, this side's done. Got my two bolts in there. Let's head over to the other side. Took the wheel off. The crack is pretty big. I think I showed you guys in a previous video, but that was a while ago. And uh, yeah, that crack is not fun. But it holds 65 PSI. All right, guys, so I just dropped my wheels off, and I'm just sitting in my car waiting for this wheel to get done. It's only going to take about an hour and a half, so I'll just chill and watch some YouTube videos on my phone. But, uh, yeah, I was going to try to film the process, but they're super busy today. Their whole parking lot is basically filled. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to film the welding process, but you'll see the wheel when it comes back. And Tommy does a great job at welding and uh, cleaning the wheel up and stuff like that. So, we got a Tesla. Nothing crazy. And then we got a we got a Dodge Viper just chilling. All right, guys. So Tommy actually just sent me a text, and he said that the wheel's ready. He gave me an hour and a half max uh, estimate for how long it's gonna take. It took him forty five minutes because he knew I was making the video and stuff today. But that is quality service. I'm getting my wheel back in forty five minutes, which is crazy. The wheel has been dismounted, uh, you know, prepped, welded, cleaned up remounted and it's coming back in my hands in 45 minutes so that's wheel service and um if you bring your wheels here to uh the wheel rim group you're probably only gonna have a one day wait which is crazy and uh tell them that tilted underscore tdi sent you and you know it's literally a great place to go to i believe it's in parsippany new jersey and uh it's worth the drive even if you live an hour away all right guys i'm really excited to show you uh the welds and stuff like that tommy gave me the wheel a little while ago i'm about to pull up to my house I got the wheel back extremely fast like I told you guys. I'm super excited to show you because he did a really good job welding it and then he painted it as well, just some silver paint and it, you, I honestly had to look for it for a second because it blended right in. That's how good of a job he did. So I'm excited to throw it back on the car. We're going to get those toe arms made up pretty soon and we'll be able to drive the car. So it's coming back together. I'm really excited and I'm driving my Mark 6 TDI right now and um, I really want to bag this thing so hopefully we can find some management if anyone has like a v2 or something like that and um i'm looking for a tank a compressor and like a management system no manual manual is just not my wave but uh yeah i might just bag this for the time being um we're gonna be hopefully be bagging the uh the, my brother's a4 all right guys i got the wheel home nice safe and sound got it over here on the wall just to show you you can't even tell where tommy had welded it it looks really good Said the wheel is nice and straight, no bends, so I'm happy about that. Sometimes when you crack a wheel, you gotta bend the wheel and stuff like that, but he said it balanced right out, no issues. And uh, I got the wheel super fast, so I'm about to mount it onto the car, and we're now one step closer to getting this bad boy back on the road and rolling, and uh, get those toe arms welded up. Alrighty guys, so I got the wheel all mounted up. She is looking fabulous. All the fitment all the way around the car, as you can see in the front, one inch here, one inch. So I've got my, my fitment actually dialed in pretty well and I'm super hyped about that. But um, 
I think that's going to conclude today's video. All right, guys, so that's going to conclude today's video. I know it wasn't super action-packed, and you guys know me. I would love to have some more action in my videos, but uh, I really didn't have much to film today because I had to go do that. And uh, I'm going to head on over to the store and see if I can get those hind joints, and we can maybe get a hind joint video going tomorrow for some solid toe arms. If not, I'll figure it out. But I'm going to go upstairs and edit this video now. And uh, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you have any other of my other videos that your friends would maybe like, share it to them and see what they say. And um, if you want to follow my Instagram or my TikTok, it's at tilted underscore TDI. And I hope everybody has a great day and uh, keep smiling.